case shit goes wrong. Which, it's me we're talking about, so probably. Set a trap. Assassinate. Okay, I've got to kill that captain up there. Loot two more chests. So, I think it's maybe about time we make use of uh, the chaoticness. Get out of the way of them. Stab in your side, cause you're too late. I honestly didn't see you there. I thought it was the other guy walking away, so I'll turn around and it's got us. Now I have to make my way towards the captain, wherever he is. He's over there. I'm coming for you, Captain. So am I. And after this, I can go and turn this quest in. complete. Are the wolves still about? <laughs> Let's go. We're safe. No one knew I was there. Bum 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 bum. So we dealt with this cultist peacefully and find out who which king was the traitor. I would definitely say mission success. We also got the bounty lifted off us, which is also good. The bounty is lifted. La Rose is alive. See? I knew we could solve this without violence. That cultist deserved to die. La Rose was a victim of the cult. He shouldn't share their fate. The cult of Cosmos would eat their own young if it served their needs. Not Lagos. He, he was being blackmailed. blackmailed by King Pausanias. 
He had Lagos' family at knife point, and I have proof. King Pausanias? We must return to Sparta to confront him. Not right now. The may be at peace, but the kings also wanted an Olympic victory for Sparta. True. You must travel to Elise and win the wreath. Very well. I'll take my leave of you, Cassandra. I won't soon forget your good work here. It was good to see you again, Marini. Mm. Though we had our disagreements, I do hope you regain your house soon. Arcadia is safe once more. And the bounty is lifted. We are free to travel without fear. Then let's continue our journey. Now for some Olympic Games. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Uh, where is it? That one. I was gonna say, I hope I've got a fast travel point here. Cultist defeated. Forgotten which one he was in. This one. Well, it says defeated, but he left and ran. Big leaps. If I remember this quest correctly, isn't the guy like drunk? If it's training you want, we don't just take anyone. Oh, I don't want training. I'd appreciate training with a master such as yourself, but that's not why I'm here. Oh. King Popsanias asked me to bring the Pankration champion to Elise. Forgive me. I didn't know a royal messenger was coming. I'm Alcon, Testicles trainer. Cassandra of Sparta. If I may offer some advice before you get him, testicles can be difficult. A gift of oil is known to put a person on his good side. Oil? A muscle okay. rub. He believes it imbues him with the power of Heracles. Look in the village of Githion. His favorite merchant is there. Okay. Where can I find your champion? I sent Testicles to train on a small island in the Bay of Hades. It's good for him there, isolated, away from people. Look for what, why does he need to be away from people? On the southern shore. I need to get this champion of yours to Elise. I hope he lives up to your promise. Oh, he will. Look for his camp on the southernmost island in Messinia. Good luck. Will do. I should get that oil. Anything that will make it easier to get testicles to the Olympics. Okay, let's see. Fast travel time. Fast travel. Speed up the game. I 
see her. Let's go get this oil, and it'll probably cost me an arm and a leg. <sighs> Sorry, closed. I need oil, then I'll be on my way. There's a special one that uh, Testicles uses. Testicles. Oh, for Pancration fighters. That one has to be made fresh by the master, and he's gone. Uh -oh. I'm not leaving without it. You don't understand. I'm nearly free. You're a slave? Yes, and in a good position. Doing this would be stealing from him. Uh... I How we work something out? For a lot, but I need this oil now. I could come back and talk to your master. Maybe explain the situation? What choice do I have? It's not bad, this life, if I have to stay. I'll give you the recipe, but that's as far as I go. You make it yourself. I can do that. Light a fire and gently heat oil of Athena. This will aid the infusion. Once the oil is warm, add myrrh. Let's Thank make some oil. I hope it's worth my freedom. Let's see if I can get this right. Uh-oh, I'm to remember this? It had to be heated. Now, what oil did I need? Fina. The oil of Athena. I'll take some of this. Almost done. Now, to add... Just a bit of mar. Testicles there we go. is going to smell great. I hope he appreciates this. Oh, it smells so good, I almost want to keep it for myself. Okay, I believe we did that right. The only part I may have fucked up and forgotten was the first bit, because I didn't realize we had to remember that. Um, okay, we need to be to our ship now. So we're going to go over here and call it. It's a bit convenient, right? Give it all in one place. While I'm here, just pick up everything. Multiple quests, because that way, just basically, if we just the chance of completing quests randomly by just playing the game. Undock. Off we go. Is there anywhere it's closer? Yeah, yes, and no. We'll just go with it. Isn't the Spanish soldier like near here? Oh, we could be past him. Maybe back for you later.
Come on, you can do it. There we go. Should we grab the salvage, Commander? Always, always grab the salvage. Seriously need a figurehead at some point. Captain Saberho, thank you for the host. It's been a while, good sir. How are you doing? I always seem to miss your times. Well, I generally stream from 1 p.m. Just today, we're a little late. Guess you should wake up earlier. Must be testicles. <laughs> testicles. Give me the salvage. There we go. Go on. Turn, 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 turn. You can do it. Yes. Doc. Is that a new mic? Sounds sweet and crispy. Oh, it is. <laughs> you haven't been around in a while then. We've got a uh, Go on XLR Mini and everything. So this is actually an XLR mic. We upgraded. Thought about buying one of the mixes? I've got the Mini and it's fantastic. I love it. Nice and affordable. Uh, well, for its price, it's affordable compared to every other mixer out there, anyway. Can't justify it at the moment. What do you want from the great champion testicles? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm here to take you to the Olympics. Could I save what I can? Understand that. Fuck yeah! I'm Me and Dates, why I've got the goal on screen that you can see. Champion! Cause I testicles! Good. Let's head sail. Oh no. Can't possibly go now. Training, see? And I don't know if I'm up to going sailing on your booty. He's been drinking. I have something for you. A certain oil. My oil? Oh, I could kiss you. Please don't. No, you couldn't. I've got your oil. You'll get it when we arrive. That's not fair! You don't want to use your special oil before the big fight, do you? Good point. Very good point. Let's get you to the Olympics then, huh? To the Olympics! The people need me! He's pissed. Well, we going? <sighs> He'd better fucking win. He won't. Hey, Riku, how you doing? Is there any possible way I can just fast travel this thing? Right, we're gonna waypoint that. 
We're gonna fast travel up there and teleport the ship. So screw doing this the slow way. Redoing every game I had data on and uploading it to your online storage just in your case your PS4 wants to be an ass again. Ah, oh, it's probably for the best. <laughs> I need to borrow this game from my buddy. Um, I'm only playing through because obviously uh, I needed something big and long to play. On top of that, I needed to re technically record all of um, Odyssey and everything. I just realized you've suddenly got a founder's badge next to you, but you didn't before. You just sub and it hasn't popped a notification. You did? <laughs> well, thank you for the resub. It's much appreciated. I figured it was running behind no big. Um, but yeah, like, I've completed this game before. I've never played the DLCs. Uh, my honest opinion, like, I needed to play through it all again anyway for YouTube because a bunch of our recordings got lost. Um, so... We have to do that for the sake of we've played every Assassin's Creed, so I want to keep that up to date. Second thing to note. My honest opinion in this game, as a game and everything as it is, it's fantastic. I enjoy it. It's good. As an Assassin's Creed game, it's the worst, in my opinion. Um, just because there's like no Assassin's Creed lore in it. Um, and I'm on about base game. Um... There is very little, and it's like 10% at most. The rest of the actual Assassin's Creed lore stuff in the game comes from the DLCs, which kind of sucks. <laughs> Swear to God, if you take me right back to where we just came from, you bloody well are. So essentially, it's a standalone RPG with an Assassin's Creed element. Um, kind of, yeah. It, it, the base game, at least. No, I'd say you're pretty much right in the mark there. It's, it's an RPG with Assassin's Creed elements in terms of assassinations and stuff like that. Um, Law-wise... Like I said, 10% of the game has got actual Assassin's Creed lore in it, base game. And... The... Over 90% is basically people, <laughs> they, they kind of like, they kind of like the Templars, they kind of act that way, but they're not, like, they're never, they're not the Templars as we know them, and I feel like this game is an Assassin's Creed game because the DLC was maybe planned in advance all of the Templar feel of the um, enemies get when they're not Templars. Because the big thing to keep in mind with this game is to our knowledge, the Templars are not established until like the actual Templar order of like, you know, Great Britain and all that stuff. Um, but the Assassins or like the, the Creeds and everything, they're established in um, Origins, which takes place after this game. But as an RPG game in open world, it's it's fantastic. Like I, it's easy to see why it's loved in that regard. Um, I forgot I had Kingdom Hearts one, two, and three on my online. Oh shit! I am so sorry. Um. Uh. Da, da, da. Yeah. Um. I had uh, Kingdom Hearts one, two, and three on my online storage already, so then I don't have to redo. Fair enough. Um, I only ever played one in the first and second games. I'm not that deep on Assassin's Creed, really. Um, I was off work yesterday and beat Kingdom Hearts 3 with my DLC and RE5 and easy. So it makes sense that the Templar Order and the Assassins don't exist quite yet. No. Why did they do Origins before Odyssey? Well, the thing, the whole point of Origins is that's when, like, the entire game at the... Spoiler alert. At the very end of Origins is 
the start of the Assassin's Order, like, type thing. At the t they're not called Assassins at the time, though. They're called something else. But we see, like, throughout the game, we see the foundations of how the creeds are building on. And the DLCs add more to it. We see the tenants and stuff they live by. And it was always kind of established to us anyway that the Templar Order... Um, they're called Templars and they've been called Templars the entire time because they're from the Templars. Like, not Templars in the terms of the assassin term, like actual history of the Templars. Like, I, I believe that's what they were called in history. Like, there was the Templar Order in history type thing. Like, British Empire thing, Templars. Like, the uh, Crusade, whatever. British Crusade, Templars. I'm sure that was a thing. I could be remembering this wrong. I'm sorry if I am. But, they've been enemies for a long while. And the thing is, in this game, so on this screen here, these are the cultists, and in Origins, there it, there is people that resemble the likes of the Templars. Um, they they were the military arm of the Catholic Church. Yes. So, it was never like the. To be fair to the Assassin's Creed lore at this point, it was never quite told how far back the Templar Order went. Like if they had an origin. So I'll give them that in the sense of this could be the base of Templars because they have pretty much a similar purpose of behind the scenes trying to control everyone. So I will give it that. Okay, I'll, I'll give it a bit of leeway in that. Like this could be kind of seen as the as the temp as the like the, the, the origins of Templar stuff. But in terms of the story we get, um. Then the church turned the uh, turned on them and had them all assassinated. Right. Um, that's a here cause to be as in the real world. Yeah. So the other thing to note, so the ten percent story that we find out, say, kind of related to Assassin's Creed law, is um, basically we find out more about the ones who came before, and we haven't done them quest yet in this playthrough because that entire quest is based off the uh, city of Atlantis, basically. Here you go, the Gate of Atlantis. And that entire quest line, so this that entire quest line of the Gate of Atlantis, that is the 10% of this main of the base game that is Assassin Law, in my opinion. Um And it's pretty cool because we find out a lot more about the Izu as they're called. And as well as like say spoiler alert still, as things like the Izu lived in Atlantis. Atlantis wasn't the, the people who came before City. Which is really cool, um, in my opinion. And then you've got the DLCs. So we've got the Legacy of the First Blade DLC, which was the first DLC to come out. Which is in our quest log here somewhere, because we got it. There we go. Um, and this, to my knowledge, from what I've heard about it, because I've, I've never played it, so full disclosure, this is what I've only heard. And I could be completely wrong, so don't quote me on this. But from what I've heard about it, as we meet the dude, the very first ever person to use the Hidden Blade... The same hidden blade we acquire in Origins. And it's also the dude that is one of the statues in like Ezio's time when he remember he has to go and get them tablet things and he unlocks his special cool armor stuff. And one of them one of the symbols is a hidden blade. It's that dude. Um And basically, so we meet him and one of the big things I remember about that DLC is everyone complaining was a choice was forced upon you in the sense of no matter what you did you romanced him and between you and him was basically the start of the tree of the assassins it's, it's where it starts to go down because somehow your bloodline relates back to the ones who came before and mixed with him and goes down like that then the other DLC, The Fate of Atlantis. I have no idea what's about. I can only take a guess of what Atlantis was about in the base game, which was all about the ones who came before. So I can only go ahead and guess. We're going to find out a lot more about them in that DLC. So yeah. Right, chat real quick. When does Syndicate come in? Syndicate was based in... <sighs> when was it based? Well, there was, a, there was a section of the game that was based in World War II. 
but I'm trying to remember what the it was a um it was a certain industry thing. Like we call there was a certain era name for it. It was the rise of the it's rise of the something. Like in the British stuff. I'm I can not i am I'm I'm drawing a blank. Um seems to me Odyssey is the core foundation blocks for all the games that we had before. Seems to set as a time just before the Catholic Church began accumulating. Industrial Revolution, that's the 